I've always been interested in going places that few have been to. My passion is seeing, exploring, challenging environments, and using photography to share what I've seen with others. Two of my favorite uh, um, places to photograph from are from the underwater and from the airplane. And underwater photography in particular has been a huge adventure for me. I uh, have had a lot of training in technical diving. I use mixed gases and decompression diving to be able to go deeper and stay longer than your average underwater diver. I like the challenge of overhead environments, particularly wreck diving and cave diving. In cave diving, the surface is no longer an option. You have to deal with all your problems underwater. If you're a mile back in a cave and you have a problem, you have to know what to do. And it has to you do a lot of training and a lot of practice to be able to do this sort of diving that does take you to places that very few people have been to. It's a lot like Alice in Wonderland. You squeeze through a narrow, small tunnel, and you'll come into a room the size of this room that's pure white, covered with stalactites, stalagmites, other flows, fossils, all kinds of amazing things. In the Yucatan Peninsula are many caves. Uh, the largest underwater stalactites there, they're about 90 feet long. They're in an underwater cavern that a 10-story building can fit into. And you can move anywhere within this space because you're diving. It's a place where um, the caves can vary from pure white to pure black. There's just a huge variety in uh, the types of formations and the types of um, uh, caves from big to small. And after spending this time underwater, generally for a couple of hours, you come back up to the surface and you're just ready to plan the next, the next dive. <laughs> My other favorite thing to do is photograph from the air. I'm a pilot, I own a Cessna 182. This is my home base here on South Whitby. <laughs> it's right by uh, along Crawford Road, if you're not familiar with it. And um, depending on what time of the year it is, I do different things. In the early spring, I'm often out looking for gray whales. And this time of year, a typical Saturday, I will load my plane up for survival here and take off. I'll fly by Langley. <laughs> over to Clinton, and then head out to the mountains. One of my favorite mountains to fly by is Mount Baker. Going up to the summit, Sherman Crater is nearly always steaming, and it's great to fly around and photograph it. Heading down south to Three Fingers Mountain, where there's a fantastic fire cabin on the southernmost finger. Then to Pilchuck Mountain, back to the sound. Occasionally things aren't quite as you planned. On this particular flight, the entire sound was filled with fog and Whidbey Island had disappeared. <laughs> so off to find another airport to land at. <laughs> but usually it's a beautiful day, and this is coming around Freeland, and then back home and back to Langley. Mm -hmm.